Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, uh, never heard no horse. <laughs> Truly, it's a privilege to come into your homes, hospitals, or wherever you may be at this time, not only to entertain you, but to minister to you through the, through the gospel, through, the, through music.
that was Let Me Call You, Sweetheart. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Very lovely. The show is Horses Sing None of It, and my name is Ralph Litwin. We've produced over 220 episodes of this show, and this is our first time having the musical saw demonstrated on the show. Welcome to Mr. Moses Josiah, international maestro of the musical saw. It's a pleasure presently living in Brooklyn, New York, but you are uh, originally from a faraway country. Guyana, South America. Guyana, South yes. America. And that's where you grew up, I read in your bio, and learned how to first play this saw. Yes, when I was a youngster at 17 years of age, I was reading an, uh, an article which described how authentic musical songs can be extracted from the blade of a musical saw, from the blade of an ordinary saw. Mm -hmm. I then became interested, picked up my daddy's old carpenter saw, <laughs> banged away at it until I was able to master this, not only the scales ascending and descending, percussion style, but simple tunes like Home Sweet Home, Amazing Grace, etc. This is no longer uh, just a regular carpenter saw you're playing here, is it? I used to play those from the hardware store, but those can only give you one and a half octaves. This was made specially to accommodate two octaves. And this instrument, it's a tenor musical saw. Mm -hmm. A little later on the show, you'll, I'll play for you on the baritone musical saw. I didn't know that such a thing existed. <laughs> oh, yes. We have Stradivarius also. <laughs> <laughs> and will we also get to hear some of the percussion style? Yes, I surely will do that. Great, great. What would you like to play for us next? I'd like to do for you Tennessee Walls. about the uh, the technique to get the the different notes it seems like you're 
you're getting different tension on the saw and you're also uh, hitting it or, or uh, bowing it in a different spot depending on the nose. Yes. As you will notice, when I bend forward, you get the high notes. Bend backwards, you get the low notes. And tremolo, that's for the loud effect, mm. sustenance. And uh, of course you've witnessed percussion. That's the sound of the musical song. <laughs> <laughs> very unusual, very beautiful. I love playing this instrument. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> And you have uh, you've won a number of awards and been on TV shows before this. Yes. Um, my first television performance was in 1961 on the Ted Mack Amateur Hour then. Well, we happen to have a picture of yes. you as a young man. Whoops. Well, it's shaking hands with Ted Mack. Oh, yes. on the amateur hour. And you were there more than once? Yes, I was there on um, March 5th, 1961, and uh, I think it's February 12th, 1971. It was a beautiful show. It was my first experience getting in front of those cameras. <laughs> Tell anybody, you get nervous for the first time. Any good Artists will tell you that, but it's, it's just for a little moment, mm -hmm. and after that, you're settled. <laughs> 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 yes, it was a beautiful show. Um, and um, with regards to awards, um, in 1967, at Guyana's Music Festival, I won first prize in the miscellaneous class for playing the musical saw and um, thereafter many other awards. Congratulations. Yes. And you, you have also played for the Queen of England during yes. that period of time. 1966 I think it was in Guyana at our independence celebration. I was privileged to have that honor to entertain Her Majesty, the Queen of England, and her husband. And um, they were quite amazed. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> quite amazed. <laughs> All right. How about you amaze us again with a, another tune then? All right. Uh, this is something with a West Indian flavor.
So tell us, what is a typical day in the life of the musical maestro of the saw? First of all, I'm, I'm an orthopedic technician of 23 years, and I've been retired some time ago. Mm -hmm. And since that is so, I have more time for traveling. I do a lot of gospel, traveling all around the country. And um, I'm kept busy, <laughs> you know, because uh, when one is retired, they have to be very careful. You know, I've been working since I was a teenager, 16 years of age, working. And to suddenly lay arms down, that's no good. <laughs> I, have to, I have to keep going physically, not to say that I'm going to do too much, mm -hmm. but part-time just to keep my mind active, body and soul. Very good. <laughs> so are we going to get to hear some of that baritone saw? Yes. I think Al said, where did you see Mr. Josiah perform? In the subway. In the subway. So sometimes you play in the subway. Yes. Um, it's a very good program that a um, transit authority has organized for uh, musicians around the world to uh, show their culture. And I happen to be one of them. And it's a select program. You can't, yes. Nobody can just walk down in the subway and do that. You have no, to be no. Applying. One has to get a permit, right. which I have, Very and good. several other musicians has. And um, I really enjoy doing it because as I play, many people would stop. If on the busy schedule, they would stop. If they did gym for one minute or five minutes, and just to say to me, thank you, you've made my day. <laughs> That's a nice and feeling. That makes me feel that um, I'm living. My living is not in vain. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. What are we about to hear? Can I use the other saw and leave this a little later? Because sure. I did not. We have, uh, we have about only five or six minutes left to the show. Time flies when you're having oh fun. Oh my goodness. Well then um, let me do this one here. Excuse me. Please bear with me a while. Goodness, what did I do with that? Okay. Yes. Now this, this is a hymn tune. It says, Spirit of God descend on me.
Listen me. May the Lord bless you as you listen to this wonderful hymn tune. 